Staring out into the blue on a dreamboat setting sail. Spinning a Grimm's Brothers yarn to catch a fairy by the tail. Barking a fable, out in a song, Rufus the dog, get along. As long as I'm able, as long as they write, Rufus the dog will recite. Get along, little Rufus, get along, little Rufus. This mooch has got get go on this here puppy show. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hi there. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the bookshop. Uh, yep, it's me, Rufus the dog, <laughs> and I've got something really cool to show you. Come on. <laughs> See what I've done? Huh? I've built my own pathway to the top of the bookshelf. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, check it out. It's really cool. Yeah, look over here. Whoa. Time to try it out. Time to climb up to the top of the bookshelf. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Gotta get a good grip. There we go. All right, just one little bit more. Oh, good so far. Long way to go. Yeah. You see, I got tired of using that ladder and always falling down. So instead, I built this tower. Pretty good idea, huh? Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> Good thing I used all those soft pillows. <laughs> well, one thing about the classics, <clears throat> they're heavy. <laughs> hey, oh, this is a good one. Oh, the Three Little Pigs. Now that's as classic as fleas in springtime. <laughs> oh, I especially love it because it's got a really good bad guy. Well, I mean, a, a really bad bad guy. Or is it, uh, well, anyway, the three little pigs meet up with this, well, let's start at the beginning of the story, shall we? Let's see. Once upon a time, there was a big bad wolf who traveled the land with his sheep, putting on a wonderful show. But business was lousy. Step right up, step right up, come see the biggest blowhard in the land. You see, the big bad wolf had a very special talent. He could huff and puff and blow like a hurricane. No, 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 it's true. I can blow trees out of the ground. I can blow the sails off a sailboat and the wool off of a sheep. It's true. Huh. Oh, I'm probably a trick. Yeah. Done with mirrors. Yeah. So the big bad wolf got ready to show the crowd that he could huff and puff and blow like a hurricane. <gasps> Unfortunately, the big bad wolf had a big bad breath problem. His breath was as strong as a hurricane, but it smelled as bad as a garbage dump in a heat wave. Hey, wait, wait! What, what, no, no, don't, don't go! Wait, no, no, wait a minute! Please stay! You know, see, see, see the whole show! You know, I, I just want to sing my song. Just once, please. Just let me sing my song. Huh? The song? Nah. <laughs> Oh, wait! I'll do something so amazing, you'll forget all about my bad breath. You what? I said my bad breath! Excuse me. Oh! Oh! oh come on, challenge me! I can do anything! The townspeople couldn't think of a challenge until the town barber stepped up and asked the wolf to blow down the houses of the three little pigs. Well, the three little pigs? Why would I want to blow down their houses? And the barber explained that he collected chin hairs and wanted to add the hairs from the chinny chin chins of the three little pigs. Chinny chin chins? Whatever. Okay, you got a deal. <laughs> oh, sorry. So the big bad wolf set off to collect chin hairs from the three little pigs, taking along a sheep. And of course, his bad breath. Hey! Me! Sorry. 
Not long before, the three little pigs had each built a house of their own. Apparently, if you're old enough to grow chin hair, you're old enough to build a house of your own. That's a pig rule or something. The first little pig built his house out of straw. Right, so I used my first crop of straw to build my house. The next crop goes for the garage. Hmm? No, the straw swimming pool didn't work out too well. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Gotta go, Bo Peep. Someone's at the door. Bye. Who is it? Hello, little pig. Yeah, yeah, it's the big bad wolf here. I was wondering if we might have a word, please. <gasps> the big bad wolf. Oh, I think he's heard of me. Wh what do you want? Well, uh, facial hair, actually. <laughs> you see. Go away. Well, uh, gee, what, what should I do now? Well, you think so? <clears throat> okay, whatever helps the story. <clears throat> little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Ooh, very nice. <clears throat> then I'll huff and I'll puff and I shall blow your house in. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh, I'm gone. Well, hey, hey, come back. I, I just need a chin hair. Oh, who would have thought show business would be this tough? Hmm? Yeah, all right. The second little pig lived nearby, and he spent every day, all day, on his roller skates playing ball hockey. Yes, he could go, all right. He just couldn't stop. He broke more sticks that way. In fact, he broke so many sticks, he used the pieces to build his house. Oh, I do love my house made of hockey sticks, eh? Now all I need to do is find somebody to play a little ball hockey, eh? And there was someone, the big bad wolf. <laughs> hey, want to play ball hockey? Here, use these roller skates. Huh? <laughs> oh, I got sticks for everybody, eh? Don't worry about breakage, I'm adding a deck. Uh, how do those fit, eh? Yeah, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. This is good. Okay, let's play, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, first, uh, would you do something for me, please? Uh, sure, what's that? Well, could you give me some hair off of your, um, well, uh, your, your chinny chin chin? What? Give you my lucky chin hair? No way, eh? That'd be like giving away my lucky sweater or my lucky taco. I don't think so. Well, oh, come on. Look, I got a song to sing and all those people are there. You know, I am so hurt you would even ask that I'm going to go into my house of sticks and I'm not coming out. Eh? Well, well oh. man. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Careful. Oh, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, eh? Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> and this time I'll do it without the roller skates. <gasps> Don't smell that bad, eh? Now I know where the big bad part comes from. Oh, but you're still not getting my chin hair, eh? Uh, but I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The third little pig was the smartest of all, and he had built his house out of bricks. Yes, this was one smart pig with very nice chin hair. And sure enough, the big bad wolf showed up on their doorstep. Okay, pigs, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I need some chin hair, so uh, let's get right to it. <clears throat> little pig, little pig, let me in. What? Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, eh? <laughs> All right, then we'll do it the hard way. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Big Bad, but that is most amusing. You see, I built this house to be huff and puff proof. Puff proof? <laughs> we'll see about that. <gasps> <laughs> 
wolf started to come down the chimney. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> try it at someone else's home. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh. Come on. Push harder. Oh. Yeah, push, push harder. Push. I'm stuck. Oh, my. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, Eureka. Get me a large pot. Push harder. Oh, I think I'm stuck. The three little pigs had quite a surprise waiting for the wolf at the bottom of the chimney. What? A surprise? What do you mean? I, hey, wait, no, stop. I, the big bad wolf fell into a large pot full of mouthwash. No, oh, we'll let him gargle in the pot for a couple of hours. Yeah, that should do it. <laughs> Pretty good. And it did work. The pig's pot full of mouthwash completely cured the big bad wolf's breath problem. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't get any chin hairs for your collection. <sighs> I guess that means I can't sing my song, huh? But the barber explained that he didn't have a chin hair from the big bad wolf. Well, you mean for a chin hair, you'll listen to my song? Yeah, I can sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay then. Here, help yourself. Wow, that hurts. Whew. So the big bad wolf finally got to sing. Well, I am supremely best at bellow blasting of my turbines. When I let it roar, it shakes the shore and levels towns for miles. Little, little D. Big old bagpipe me, it's disaster when I've yodeled because everything gets totaled around me. I'm famous from Blowfast to win Baghdad. There's a problem this poses. I've got halitosis. But my heart will blow on, my heart will blow on, my heart will blow. When I huff and puff, I stop the show. I'm the very best there could be. While they kick me out of opera school because of my high C. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Oh, <clears throat> a little E, oh, fantastic me. As the planet rumbles, watch as everything just crumbles. For me. For me. For me. <laughs> and so ends the classic story of the three little pigs. Yep, in which the pigs learn you need a strong house to stand up to a strong wind, and the big bad wolf learns you can't take somebody's chin hair just because you feel like it. <laughs> yep, and I've learned it's best to use the latter. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing this book with me. Come back soon and we'll find another. Bye for now. <laughs>